Hi everybody, it's Andrew Bebb with Midwest Fishing Club and I got an unboxing to do. have to admit I opened this up already and I really, really, really have to apologize to the lovely couple that sent this to me. They're from uh, the Hook Pal Company. They sent it to me, oh, let's see, January, February, March, and April. They sent it to me in April. So I got I to gotta really, really, um, really say I'm sorry for taking so long to get to this. Hook Pal is a product that's uh, designed to uh, keep your trailer hooks. I mean, there's multiple purposes for it, but its main purpose is for trailer hooks to keep them on and nice and secure. Uh, you can use it for a wacky rig. You can actually take a... Uh, a top a top side frog and add an extra hook to it. There's lots of different ways. The first thing I'm going to say is they've sent me this really nice little poster here. It gives me all the different ways that uh, that you can use it. I can't believe it, it actually took me this long to get around to doing this. Uh, unfortunately, it came in on a day I was getting ready to go out on a major vacation and fishing trip, and I kind of set it off to the side. And uh, and to be honest with you, I forgot about it. Um, and then the nice lady there from there actually messaged me in Facebook and reminded me and I got it out and I put it up and then one thing came after another and I kind of misplaced it and forgot about it again. I got this really, really nice personal letter from, from George Thomas, the owner, uh, sent me a nice decal which I will be displaying on some of my fishing gear somewhere because like I said I, I feel I feel horrible so we got the decal and it says thanks for your time and reviewing our tool and I will be reviewing it um, and I'll be doing some other things with it um, you can do the video review and he just said some very nice things and uh, and to give him a call if he had a problem and this is actually available at Tack Tackle Warehouse just to let you know Here's what the product looks like. I mean, I got all kinds of stuff. It's actually a keychain that I can hook, hook the tool into, so if I would happen to drop it on the water, it would float. Let's see, different uh, sizes. And basically what they are is, they're, is they are just little plastic discs. And I will try and show you what one looks like here. Now, what I like about this is that, and and and, and I am going to like this because I just just for uh, just to let you know, I use real thin wire hooks when I uh, when I fish my plastics, and the biggest gripe I do have is that sometimes the uh, plastics don't uh, don't stay on there; they'll flip off because it's such a thin wire. But what I would do first is I would take this tool. and I would punch a hole through it and I think you can hopefully see that so I would take the worm I would put it on so I have that that disc on one side and that disc is actually because there's no hole in that disc ahead of time I've punched that hole it's gonna be in there nice and solid let me get another little disc I know a lot of you guys that fish uh, wacky rigs, and half the damage I get to my wacky rig is damage from my uh, my 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 worm, my stick bait, going up when I catch the fish, going up and uh, up the line, and I have to re-thread it through, and and it chews it up a lot. I'm going to take this tool again and see if I can show it to you. It just has that little disc right in it. I'm going to put it in the center, and I'm going to poke. I'm literally poking a hole through it because there's no hole there already. And then I'm going to leave it there. So now what I've got is I've got the little disc on that side and the little disc on that side. And they are actually, because the holes are the same size as the hook, it doesn't come off. I mean, it's not going to uh, slide up and down that hook. 
just like so. Actually, I'm kind of liking this RF. So anyway, they sent me that. They sent me, and these are different different discs. I can you, you can you can either go with the uh, black disc or the white clear disc like I use. And then they also sent me another tool, believe it or not, and some more discs, white and black. This is they come in hundred packs. And that'd be the product. I got another sticker here. It's down here, the Hook Pal. I think I'm going to get that on my car this afternoon. And uh, he also sent me a nice letter. George sent me a nice letter. This is a larger tool. And I, can, I don't know if you can see the size difference in these discs. I mean, these things are huge. And the tool's entirely different. And this is for, uh, for larger... Uh, use the tag live eels for striper fishing some people use it for live baits such as uh, mushy catfish etc saltwater people we use it for umbrella rigs hope it helps um, and it's got a little uh, the end of the line guide on there now if you were using it for a trailer hook it's going to be the same purpose I, I don't have one with me uh, with me right this second but if you're going to use this for a trailer hook it'd be the same thing so I'm going to review this. Uh, this is just an unboxing video, but I'm definitely, next time I go out, which hopefully will be pretty soon, uh, I'm going to actually use this uh, specifically on my wacky rig. Okay, some of the things you can use your hook pal for. You can, you can double lock a fluke. So, you, oh man, you know what? That's an awesome idea. I hadn't even thought about that. Um, and you'll actually press it. I'm going to show you a picture. You know what? I can't describe stuff for squat. Picture just like that. You have that uh, right there and there. Locks that fluke down. Um, Securing wacky rigs. Prevent swim bait from riding up the line. You know, that's another thing. You know, you put, use the jig. Or, uh, you know, I'm thinking I could use this to lock down all kinds of different things. How many times do you get... Uh, Securing a trailer hook to a frog, uh, double lock a buzz bait to keep the trailer hook straight, attach a jig trailer so that your jig doesn't slide down. I mean, there's lots of uses for it. Um, I am going to do a review on this, and because it, it's, uh, let's see, I want to make sure I get this right. It is the Hook Pal. They are out of uh, Powhatan, Virginia. I hope I said that right. And they are George and Deborah Thomas. And the website is thehookpal.com. And you can order at thehookpal.com for the email. So definitely check them out. And there's my unboxing. This is the boxing I wanted to do today. My name's Andrew Bebb with Midwest Fishing Club. I am Midwest Fishing Club, and every one of my members is Midwest Fishing Club. We are Midwest Fishing Club and we are here to introduce fishing to others while helping each other become better anglers. This episode brought to you by the Hook Pal. I can't even hold on to that. And uh, George and Deborah, thank you very much. I am so truly sorry for taking so long, especially for a product that really looks cool, man. Until next time, keep your hooks wet and your stringers full. Have a great day.